Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now let's see what's behind this door, because that last part had a very awkward ending. <laughs> oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Uh, this, this chest I think I have to get from the other side. So yeah, um, for this mini puzzle here what you want to do is save one pot and push it onto one of the switches. This probably reminds you of a similar puzzle in an earlier dungeon, and it is pretty much the same thing. Just get yourself multiplied, and step on all the switches. The pot helps you with the last one, so no, you don't need the fourth element for that, because the pots work in your favor. And I oh, need the cape for this room. This uh, wind gust here doesn't activate until you hit the switch. Boop! And woo! Long jump! And if you go here, oh, we're blocked in! And that wind affects the Olgies. Ice Wizards, no you don't. They can freeze you, and that can cause issues. Yeah, if you get frozen, just jiggle the control pad and buttons until you get free. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I refuse to be frozen. Nope. No, 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 no. Oh! I was trying to rush it. <laughs> yeah, it worked out, I suppose. I'm being a little bit reckless here, but it's... I'm having a lot of fun being reckless, so I'm just gonna have to stick with that for now. Oh no, you don't. Red Staffles, they like to throw bones at you and they sh shimmy their arms like that. Nope, 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 that works. Ah, <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. Is this the room with the... Uh, no, this isn't the one with the treasure chest. Just wanted to check that. Again, I'm being reckless, but... Eh. Alright, now... Gotta do the same thing as the other room, and boop, 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 boop. Now I gotta escape our prison and go off. Uh, from here, you get the big key. Yeah, you got another big key sort of early in the dungeon. Like, we aren't even close to finishing dungeon. <laughs> so the big key is pretty much just a key for the most part. It's not like protecting the boss from anything, although you still, I mean, it still kind of protects the boss. Oh, I'm sure you, I've mentioned this before, but I'm no good with heights. Wait, hold on. I think I see something down there. Oh, I guess that means I'll have to take the plunge after all, hmm? Woo! Just jump into the dark spot that you see there. Oh, geez, red dark nut. This is a more powerful, faster version of the original Dark Nut, though it's still not all that different from a Dark Nut. Nope. Aha! Oh! It would be pretty funny if I can knock it in the hole. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can do that for the heck of it. Oh, it worked! <laughs> I didn't think that would work, actually, but it did! <laughs> That's by far the best way you can take care of a Dark Nut, that's for sure. And, oh, maybe I did miss the heart piece somewhere uh, in my path through the dungeon. Well, that's okay, I'll just come back to the dungeon after I finish it to uh, see what path I missed to get that heart piece. Anyway, how much farther do we have to go? This place goes on forever! Ah, there's no point in complaining about it. We must press onward. After all, how much more could there be? Come on, Link, let's go! Indeed. Oh, Ezlo has no idea. <laughs> So I should probably get the torch out just to see what I am doing. Oh, this reminds me. Um, you can burn these and they'll turn into staffles. So there's actually a staffle underneath all the bandages. You know, well, it's... Uh, I don't think it... You don't... Get, I'm not, I'm not, ah, I can't speak. I don't think the staffle varies. Uh, it always seems to be a blue one, if I recall. Let's see if there's any more uh, Gibdos to burn, just to confirm that for the fun of it. Over up there is a treasure chest I would like to get, and over there I think is the compass. I'd also like to get to get that, but I have to drop down. Oh wait, no, this isn't the one I have to drop down to get. It's a compass! Yay! I just noticed the stairs there. That the ring sort of conceal that. Okay, blue staffles, right? Yep. Yeah, it always seems like a blue one pops out from the Gibdo when you burn them. And burning them does make it uh, quite a bit easier to deal with them. 
so if you happen to have your lantern out, or if you have issues dealing with them the other way, like just mashing the sword button, go right ahead and burn them away. And let's see, where do I want to go? That hole will not help. And this hole doesn't help, I think. I think these holes help, though. Yeah, okay, this middle one. Does, do I get anything if I open... Ah, well, I guess we'll see later. <laughs> It's a small key. I was gonna say, I wonder if that door opens that way, but I don't think it does. I think that's a return trip, actually. So maybe what I'll do is just uh, move on ahead down this side and see what else. Yeah, okay. Um, there's the locked door, but I want to see what puzzle is. Oh, it's another one of these. Ooh, I think I messed myself up there. <laughs> I created too many holes, dang it. Let's reset this. Right. And these pea hats, they're really gonna get in my way too. So. Boop. Boop. And. Oops, wrong way. Boop. Voila. And now. Let's triple ourselves, but only using every other one. Because we gotta get through the pillars and. Oh, geez! I was partially in a pillar, but I got out of it quick enough. And... Whee! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah, these are like a non-issue now that we have the rocks cape. Another small key that makes two. And a nice return trip back, if you didn't see that little... Um, stop, not stop, the opening up there in the upper left corner. Um, let's see... I go around and follow the Bomarosas. Yeah, that's why you want to follow them, and <laughs> not be at the same pace of them. Maybe I should just like go right through the center, if at all possible. I think it'd save me a bit of time, and they're a little bit faster than I am when I because, uh, like when I'm drifting, I'm at the same speed of them, but I have to go inside the vortexes in order to uh, get my speed up. So yeah. Uh, Alright. Oh no! <laughs> that rarely happens when you have the lantern out because they burn before they grab onto you. What's up here? Oh. Yeah, this is what I was talking about it being the return trip back. So. Woo! So if you go through here, you're gonna see. Yep that room. I don't think there was anything more down at the bottom floor, if I recall correctly, you know, that I need to get. Well, now that I made a shortcut, I guess I can check that out. It's a little bit easier to check things out this way. Mm, yeah, was there anything up here? No? It's just there to be a big block. And now that I made the shortcuts, I can go through here. Ah! Ho oh ho! Hee hee! And there we go. Back to where I was. I love the dungeon music in this game. Each dungeon has its own unique sound. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta go down there eventually, but I don't think it's now. I think it's a little bit later, so I'm not gonna hop down there just yet. Wait a second, is this? Um, uh, aha! Yeah, different room. Oh jeez. Oh no, you don't. The, the fire wiz robes are pretty much the same as the regular wiz robes, aside from the fact that. Uh, well, I guess they all have their own sort of projectiles, like they all fire the same thing, but I mean, they don't really affect you as much as the ice ones would, is what I'm trying to say here. Alright, so, dungeon map. Got it? Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh! No. Floor masters. Refuse. Oops. Need to grab. There we go. And that opens that up. Nope. Well, nope. <laughs> I suppose that that is what the wizard does. I mean, the fire wizard could do, but it's not 
as bad as being frozen in place, that's for sure. Because you still have control over yourself until you uh, recover. Alright. Well, maybe this dungeon isn't as long as I remember it. Because I'm getting through it pretty efficiently. Maybe it's because I've just played this game so many times. <laughs> it's just one of those things where uh, the first playthrough kind of gives you an impression that things are longer than they actually are. That sort of thing. Um, oh, for this, you want to blow up that and my heater turned on. Like so. Turn off my heater. <laughs> Can't have that when I'm making videos. No more white noise than is necessary, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that way... I'm not... Wait, actually, can I... I think I can get that now. Wait, maybe not. Um... Hold on. I forgot how to do this puzzle. It had something to do... with that switch, but I don't... Am I able to, like, throw... Oh, I can. Well, that answers that. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't think I could throw a bomb over that. I don't know why. I was, I was kind of, like, puzzling myself more than anything, because I, it was like, I knew... It was very simple, and oh, my wallet's maxed out, but whatever. <laughs> it's not like I need uh, uh, another source of moolah given that supreme money grinding spot next to Link's house. Although it's it's still not quite as efficient as um, uh, as uh, getting mounds of cash from chests, but still, you know, it's it's still a matter of that it's not a non-issue of sorts. Um, which which one of these blocks move? Or maybe I'm just supposed to go through here first? Maybe? I can bomb something. Oh, oh. Why? <laughs> ah. Nope. Nope. And over here is... Just pay attention to where that mark is on the wall. You'll see why in a second. Uh, when we go outside, there will not be a mark where you need to blow up the wall. You'll see there is... See, nothing's there. But there is something there. <laughs> that mark, I mean, that uh, bombable wall was sort of a hint as to where that wall was and what you can do. Because you can't see it from that side, obviously. It was So it was a matter of uh, being observant so that you can solve the puzzle, rather than just jumping around off the edges randomly or thinking to kill all the enemies or something like that. Um, over here, I'm gonna have to drop down... Oh, maybe it's... I, th I think I have to drop down there later. Oh, no. Um, if you <laughs> blow these up, what'll happen is that if they'll hit the switch and that door up there will close. So what you gotta do is navigate through this room without touching the Bomberosa. So... Be careful. Calm yourself. Don't hit buttons. Oh, not quite center. There we go. Not that hard. And that's another small key that I could use. Um, actually, all the keys are necessary. What do I? What do I mean? I could use. I am going to use it. I'm going to blow this piece from a distance there. Just. Be safe. We do. I don't want to. Oh, okay, like this. Careful. There we go. Just gotta make sure they get out of my way. And this is what I need. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh, wait, I don't need anything actually. Just fall. <laughs> this is how we reach this locked door. All right. Uh, this room was pretty long. Oh. No. <laughs> and there's also a couple of blocks that aren't that are movable in this area, so be mindful of that. Um, whee! Woo! We're gonna push this, and you get a blue pinstone piece. Fortunately, though, I'm gonna have to go all the way around now, because I pushed the other block instead. But that's okay, I'm gonna be uh, exploring this anyway. Uh, I don't really think there's... Uh, oh, gee, there's that much to explore in this. It's just that you, it's a matter of finding the block that you need to find. Yep. Oh no! I should say the blocks that you need to find in order to progress. And I think they're all marked by the uh, 
Oh, floor panels actually, come to think of it. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait. There. <laughs> They're just under the skull. Oh, oh! Almost overdid it. Um, and these are for the way back. Can't push them from the other side. Going up. 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 Still going up. And, oops. Went too high. <laughs> I mean, I could go there, but that's that wouldn't finish the, the dungeon. There's more to explore. The, the other way is actually the boss, so I'm pretty close to the end here. Hmm, woo. Um, I wonder if I should just finish the, the dungeon in this part, or if I should... Yeah, I'll probably finish the dungeon in this part. But wow, this, this dungeon was not nearly as long as I remembered it. <laughs> I kind of feel silly for saying that it was immensely long when I'm going to end up finishing it in three parts. <laughs> Oops. Uh, actually, did I... just to make sure, did I get everything? Oh. Missed something on the second floor. Oh. I'm, I'm going to be back through here, here again for that uh, heart piece anyway. So... <laughs> I guess I'll just go up, take, take on the boss, go back to the dungeon... yeah. So, here we go! Boop. Ooh! Foreboding door. Yeah, there's two boss doors in this. It's kind of pointless, if you ask me. Um, over here is... Uh, wait, what? Where is... Oops! There is a... I um, thought there was a, a panel to go back to the start. Huh. Well, anyway, let's go up! And face down, the boss known as the Gyorg Pair. And all you have to do is attack its eyes. Yep, you're attacking something's eyes again. But just pay attention to the pattern of the eyes that you see there. Like, just do, do the same pattern as the eyes so that you can hit all the eyes at once and massive spam it. Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't kill it already. Whoops, no, 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 I want to go on. I have to go on in order to progress. So there we go. Gotta progress the boss by going from one to another, flying high in the air in this epic battle, ah! while dodging tails and shots, which you will see later. Oh no, you don't! Oh no, you don't! Oh, and now the red one should come back over. There we go. Watch the pattern. Get it charged up. Oh no, you don't! Oh! Yeah, that one tries to disrupt you, but don't. Don't let it do it. Just attack and dodge. Yeah, that's it's that's basically what it's doing there, is it's trying to disrupt your uh, um, your multiplication powers there. Just time yourself with the shots. Like that. Dodge around. Alright. Go oh, jeez. Oh no, that was oh that worked actually. That was just too bad. Yeah, you don't have to have all the links going there to deal damage. You just do more damage when all the links are wailing on the eyes at once. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I refuse. Refuse to be knocked to my doom. By the way, I have a bunch of fairies in my arsenal, so I'm not too worried about uh, health and whatnot. Oh, jeez! Just watch enemies of doom. And just keep repeating until you win. That is the Gyorg pair in a nutshell, and they do change up their patterns a little bit as they go, so you're going to have to be mindful of um, what what they do, but it's all pretty much the same for the most part, actually. So you'll... Oh, dang it! No, I will do all as much damage as I can. Yes! Alright, go away. I have many eyes to stab and slice and dice. No! <laughs> Ah, uh, it's so hard to react to those. Come on... Eyeballs! Eyeballs. Eyeball. Eyeball. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Oh yeah! And that's... pretty much it for the boss, actually. Because now that the blue one is down, all you have to do... is take down the red one, and it's over! Mm. Oh, needless to say, this boss is based off of Manta Rays.
Or, uh, uh stingrays, uh, excuse me. <laughs> and there it is! The fourth and final element. Finally! After it got relocated from the wind ruins up to here, it is finally in our possession. You got the wind element. The wind carries the seeds of flowers, scattering life across the land. The wind element is the embodiment of that power. Ah, there's the portal that I was thinking of. It wasn't a, a red one like I was thinking for some reason. And there we go. But of course, we still got a couple of things left to collect back in the dungeon. At last, we've got all four elements. Let's go revive the sacred blade. Later, Ezel. Let's go back in. <laughs> all right, starting off from the blue portal, uh, which will take us directly back to the palace. I'll be able to see where I went wrong in missing a chest here. First, got to light the world. And let's see. I'm going to take the path that I took before. Okay. So beyond this door is where the chest should be. So I'm assuming I just missed the entrance to it around the other side? Maybe? Might be? Or, or maybe there's some other way to get to it. Like, maybe I confused this upcoming hallway to another one. Like, yeah, this is, this is blocked off here. Okay, let's look at this from a different angle here. What if I go up here, and then I go... Oh, this is what I forgot. I forgot to drop down here when I was through this area a little bit earlier. All right, battle time. And now we know how to get to this chest. Well, this prize, I should say. Whatever is inside. Okay, it is a good prize. Now, I gotta go find my way over to the heart piece. So I think I gotta go all the way back through the main portion of the dungeon. Well, since I've got the uh, rocks cape, I won't have any issues doing that. What I mean is that um, I'm gonna have to re retread the ground here. Alright, I think I have come up with the solution here. Somehow, some way, I never took that door over there. This is, yeah, this is near the end of the dungeon. And... I've never been through this path, and yep, there's the piece of heart. I don't know how I managed to not... I must have just forgot that that door, uh, my first way through here, which is why I missed that. So yeah, there we go. That finishes off the dungeon. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.